Hey guys, my name is Matsumio, and now that Firestorm has finally been released for Battle for 5, I wanted to give my thoughts on it. I've had a chance to play it over the last couple of days, and to my surprise, it's actually a lot of fun. The gameplay itself is really satisfying, it has a lot of tense moments, but it also has some really large glaring issues, some really big ones. And so what I wanted to do today is talk about what the game does really well, but also where it needs some pretty significant improvements. And so first and foremost, probably the biggest problem with this mode right now is simply just looting other players. When you take someone out in Firestorm, all their loot falls to the ground. And while on paper this doesn't sound too unreasonable, other Battle Royale games have done this and they've been very successful, because of the way they've gone about it in this game, it just doesn't work. Because everything is clumped together so tightly, not only are you going to have a hard time just simply identifying what they were using, I cannot tell you how often I've stared at someone's loot for a good couple of seconds, trying to figure out just simply what items that they had, but then when you do finally figure out, oh, this is something that I need, or that's a great upgrade, it's then going to take you even longer to pick up said item. Because everything is on top of each other, that armor plate that you really need to win the round, if you don't have full armor, you're at a really big disadvantage well that's under five items and so now you have to position your camera at a specific angle you need to put your character in that right spot just to be able to pick it on up now thankfully the developers are aware of this issue they're going to be changing the way that the loot system works and personally I think they need to adopt what Apex Legends or something like PUBG has where they just simply have a box that drops on the ground you tab into it and you can see what items they have and you can switch that on over into your inventory. It's simple, it's clean, it makes things a lot easier, and so just in general, I think that this needs to be the first thing that they try to solve as soon as possible. Now, one thing I really do enjoy about the mode, though, and I think that Criterion has done a fantastic job with, is the gameplay and the overall pacing. Weapons are fun to use. They have a satisfying amount of recoil. Essentially, if you enjoyed the weapon gameplay mechanics from the multiplayer, you're going to enjoy them here. But probably what's even better, I think, is the actual pacing of the game itself. Other Battle Royales have struggled with this, and maybe this will eventually be an issue with Firestorm, but the entire match, there's just constant action. One issue that I always had with PUBG back in the day was that you could be running around for a solid 15 to 20 minutes not seeing a single player, and then out of nowhere, you get taken out. Those moments were incredibly frustrating. So far in Battle for 5, that hasn't been a problem whatsoever. Because there aren't any gigantic cities anywhere on this map, most towns are just a couple of buildings, this incentivizes the players to actually spread out. And so the early game, you're going to have usually around three people in your area, so the early game is fairly action-packed, you need to take care of those people, and then everyone else is spread out, so that means the mid and the late game are also very action-packed. One thing I think the developers did a fantastic job with that assists with this pacing is that there are key objectives scattered around the map. If you want action, you can find it really quickly. Go after some of these objectives. Not only do they have some of the best loot or you can get a vehicle out of it, but it's going to get people to know exactly where you are. They're going to come on in trying to uh, take advantage of those situations, which just facilitates those moments. Now on the opposite end of the spectrum though, the pacing is practically ruined when you're actually searching for a game. Battle Royales can be very fast paced. You get into a round, you go into an area, you drop, and you get unlucky. Maybe you don't get the right item, the right weapon, and so you get taken out at the very beginning of a round. In Battlefield 5, this is a pretty big issue because it then takes a significant amount of time to get back into another game. You're going to have to wait a good couple of minutes to find a server. When you do find a server, you're then placed into a lobby where the waiting continues. If you don't have 64 players, for some reason the match won't start, and so you'll have times where it will be 62 out of 64, and you're going to have to wait another minute or two before 64 connects. It just won't begin. Then, when you do have 64 players, it then starts a one-minute countdown. All of this adds on up. If you then drop on in, die again at the very beginning, you then have to go through that process all over again. There are times 
times where it feels like you're in the lobby more than you're actually playing the game. This is something that they need to address. Eventually, people are going to get fed up with these queue times. If they start to leave, that of course is going to increase the queue times for everyone else. This will just exasperate the problem. Queue times get longer, more people leave, it increases the queue times, it just gets worse and worse until no one is playing Firestorm. I don't want this to happen because I find the gameplay to be really satisfying, but if they don't shorten that wait time, I think this could be one serious issue that they run into. Now, one thing that should be very obvious is that this is easily the best looking battery out on the market right now. The Frostbite engine is on full display. The particle effects, the environment itself, the actual ring of fire looks amazing. When you're on the fringe of it, it's terrifying. The sound that it makes, the sound design overall is phenomenal. I will say that footsteps might be a little bit too loud in some situations, but just in general, the sights and the sounds of this map are amazing. Like, they did a phenomenal job, and then on top of that, it runs perfectly. Now, the downside of all of this, though, is that it can be very difficult to identify where someone is located. This was an issue that the multiplayer had, and I think it still has. Because there is so much clutter on the ground, these games are getting to the point, and the graphical uh, engines are getting so impressive that they can have rubble scattered around everywhere, there's plenty of foliage, that trying to know where someone is on these maps can be really challenging. I can hide in a bush and have multiple players run straight by. I've literally gone prone, stared directly at someone as they charged towards me, and they had no idea I was there. Of course, as soon as I took a couple of shots, they realized the error of their ways, but not until I took those couple of shots. Now, I'm not entirely sure what they could do to resolve this without just making the character models glow. I think this is something that they did back in Battle for Three Days on some maps, like Nightmare maps, for example, your character just kind of had a soft glow so that you could pinpoint where they were compared to everything else. Now, the downside of that, of course, is that that ruins that immersion, and one of the things that people have really enjoyed about Firestorm is that realistic immersion. Because everything is so detailed, it makes sense that you'd be able to take advantage of your environment to get the drop off on your enemy. This isn't Apex Legends. You're not meant to be running around as quickly or as aggressively as you would in that game, and taking a more slow and methodical approach to it and taking advantage of your environment is something that you should try to use as often as possible. And so while I know that this isn't going to be a deal breaker for everyone because they enjoy that kind of gameplay, uh, for others, this could be something that could cause a lot of frustration. The final thing I want to discuss today is the squad mode. Overall, I feel like I prefer this over solos. Battlefield has always been known for being more of a team-based game, and I think that applies here as well well, but I do have some issues with it. The one big one is the spectator camera. If for whatever reason you had the misfortune of getting taken out, you can then spectate your friend the entire match from a third person perspective. I don't know why they did this. Your teammate can literally be hiding behind a rock and then you can make callouts as to where the other players are behind said rock. And so while your teammate may not be able to see them, you can and you can make those specific callouts. And so I don't know if they are having some problems with the first person camera. Maybe they had some misalignment issue. Whatever the reason is though, I really do think they need to remove that third person camera because it gives teams a very large advantage in those kinds of situations. Another issue I have with the squad based game mode is I really wish that other Battle Royales and Firestorm specifically would adopt the respawn system that Apex Legend has. Now I realize that not everyone is going to be on board with this idea, but I think one of the best additions that Apex Legends has brought to the genre is the ability to bring your teammates back into the action. If you have those rounds where you are slightly separate from your team and you got taken out and you get you can get taken out really quickly the TTK is blazing fast and when you do get downed you don't really get a lot of buffer they can take a next another split second to bring you from that down state until you are completely out of the game like it doesn't take any time at all and so to have that happen to you especially at the start of a match 
is really annoying. And so to have an ability for your team to then go on in, wipe out that team, and then bring you back into the action, I feel would just be a great quality of life improvement. It keeps the pace of the game moving. It makes sure that your team doesn't feel like they are required to leave that round to get you back so they can all play together. Like, I really do think that that's one of the best additions that Apex Legends brought to the genre, and I think it would be fine here. Like I said, I realize not not everyone is going to be on board with that, but because of the very fast TTK, the fact that you can thirst and take people out really quickly as soon as you down them, having the ability to get back into the action, I just think overall is one thing I would like all Battle Royales to adapt, and that is also true for Firestorm, but of course that is just my two cents. Overall though, I've been having a lot of fun with Firestorm so far, and other than the large glaring issues like the looting in particular, I think there's a lot to enjoy here. I think only time will tell to see if this mode is going to last the test of time. I think it's really going to come down to how quickly the developers are able to update the game and solve these issues. But if they can, I think this game has a lot of promise. Uh, but yeah, guys, that is what it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed. If you've had a chance to play Firestorm, what are your thoughts on it? Have you been having fun? Have you been disappointed? Let me know down below in the comments. Uh, but yeah, guys, until next time. Have a good one and take it easy.